Um, hey everyone, it's me Jean Potion again, and here is another video tutorial. Well, basically, I had another video tutorial. It was it was called how to play Mario games online, but this time it's how to use the e-reader on Super Mario Advance 4. First up, you need to go on your web browser to download it. You can use any web browser; it doesn't matter. I just use Chrome because that's the one I use. And then you need to go where you have all your emulators. If you're wondering, I'm using a virtual machine. Yes, it's best to use them on a virtual machine. And yeah, don't forget to use uh, an appropriate ROM. I got this one. I tried to find the link where I found it. Sorry if I cannot. I'll try to put links in the description. But anyways, let's begin. Alright, so you will need the e-reader file. You need to download the file which should say ereader.gba. You need to rename it to card e-reader. And in here, you need to download the e-reader SV2 file, the Super Mario Advance 4 ROM loader. If you look carefully on YouTube, there are other videos where you can find it. In order, but in order to make it work, you just need to name it Card E-Reader. Yes, they have to be exactly the same name, otherwise it wouldn't work. I tried other things, but nothing worked. So, this is basically how to get everything to work well. First, open the appropriate ROM. You need to download the note. Okay, you need to download the NoCash GBA ROM, which has GBA.ROM. Yes, that's right. Just do exactly what I did. Sorry if I'm going too fast. Just pause. Just give you time. Alright, let's just go. This may take a little while. So you just need a bit of patience, that's all. All right. You should have access save data. If not, you're probably doing something wrong, like what I've been doing previously. Let me just view it to the bigger screen just in case you cannot see. Yes. Don't worry about the glitch graphics. It's just the intro and menu. So let's just cut over to the chase. Yeah, summon a water tree. And basically I got all these by uh, the e-reader. You need to accept save data, otherwise things will not work. So you just need to press the R button and then go to the power up card. A strong button. Alright, now it's just going to start communicating with the Nintendo e-reader. Alright, then you need to scan a power-up card. So, I'm basically on the levels card, so... The actually thing you need to do is... Go to, your, go to where you actually have everything. I have mine in my applications file. So let me just... Complete dot code pack. There is actually a video which says how to play Super Mario Advance 4 and how to get working ROM and emulator. If I find that video, I'll just post it in, in the description so I'll be able to help all of you and try to do this as simple as possible so that everyone will shut up. Sorry I was rude but... Alright, so let's just get to the chase. Power up card, item card, and here, yes. That's... You just need to make sure you have the one you want. So let's just do the power ring. And you see it worked. If you want to can scan ca more cards, let me just do another one. You need to go on file and load ereader.code. For the ones who don't know. For this one I'll try a hammer suit. 
I do double click because that's the best one for me. And yeah, you need to set it to to two emulator Game Boy, but unfortunately I got an RP wing, so the only solution is to get out and then back in again. Let's try this again. Man, I feel really impatient. Let's do this again. Hammer suit. Alright, you see it worked for me. It may be a bit different for you, it may just work on one thing. And when you look, you got them. Let me just show you one level with the power wing. Ah, uh, basically I just lost it. But you get the point anyways. I hope you can see the entire game though. Sorry, but I'm a bit lousy. Okay. So let me just <gasps> come on. Let's just make a quick save and go to my level card. It says levels just because I already have. But if you want to do more, you have to go up and level card. That's basically what you need to do, and then just scan the level card. If this one fails, it'll just show you the one I currently have on right now. So let me just find my levels, which I got on that Super Mario Advance 4 pack. Yeah, there are release and unreleases. Alright, it said it's not a level card. So what am I going to do now? Alright, basically it just worked. Basically my emulator just... Well, insane. I don't know if the level itself is really this glitchy. But let me try to get you the level. If I fail, I'll just... Oh, I'll just pick... I'll just get you the level. Yeah, I've been a Mario expert for a really long time now. No joke. Ooh, that was a close one. Let me just go for the coin. Okay, I actually failed. Let me just show you Classic World 1-1. I basically you just run through the level without any power-ups. And again we have our classic flagpole. Ah, the classics. And to end this, let's do a mega jump. Actually a rolling jump. Sorry. Okay, so that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any problems, just comment and just tell me how it is. If you want me to make more, if you want me to make more tutorials, just subscribe and thanks for watching.